Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to form a partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary functions. So here we find the number of arbitrary functions present are 2, those are function f and g. So we are going to use dou z by dou x that is p and dou z by dou y which is named as q then dou square z by dou x square which is named as r then dou square z by dou x dou y which is named as s then dou square z by dou y square which is named as t all this thing to eliminate the arbitrary functions let's take this as the first expression and we are going to take this first expression and differentiate now partially with respect to x. So it means this becomes dou z by dou x equal to here f of y is constant because when we differentiate partially with respect to x the y terms are constant. So the derivative of x square is 2x and the constant is written as it is. Similarly here this constant is written as it is and g of x derivative is g dash of x. Let's keep this as a second expression. Now differentiating this one again partially with respect to y. So we get dou z by dou y equal to now x square is constant f of y derivatives f dash of y then g of x is constant and y square derivatives 2y so constant is written as it is this is our third expression now let's take the second expression and differentiate this second expression partially with respect to y so we get dou square z by dou y dou x equal to x is treated as a constant now so 2x is constant derivative of f of y is f dash of y and x is constant so g dash of x is written as it is and y square derivative is 2y so this is our fourth expression in the same way let's take again third expression and differentiate this partially with respect to y sorry with respect to x now dou square z by dou x dou y equal to since it is a partial derivative with respect to x y is constant so x square derivative is 2x and f dash of y is written as it is similarly here g of x is constant sorry 2y is constant so that is written as it is and g of x derivative is g dash of x so actually this fourth and fifth both are same since both are same it is enough if i do only till the fourth expression let's use these expression to substitute that is we can substitute g dash of x from second in this place and we can substitute f dash of y from third expression in this place. So we are going to write substituting 2 and 3 in 4. Substituting 2 and 3 in 4. So the fourth is dou square z by dou y dou x equal to 2x open bracket f dash of y from here is nothing but this term with minus of this divided by this x square so we can write it as from this 1 by x square so let's write 1 by x square bracket open dou z by dou y minus 2y g of x bracket close then plus second term this 2y we have to write as it is then for g dash of x I have to take from this so here 
this term minus this term divided by y square. So we have to write 1 by y square open bracket. This is 1 by y square open bracket dou z by dou x minus 2x f of y. 2x f of y. Now we are going to simplify this. Here we can cancel this x and the square, y and the square. So finally, this side it is taken as yes. And now we have 2. And that 2 can be taken common. Apart from the 2, we have denominator x and y. So let's take LCM. The LCM is xy. So in the numerator, this entire term is multiplied with y. So y into bracket open, this is written as p minus 2y into g of x. Sorry, this is q. Similarly, the second term is written as plus x into, when we take LCM, x will be multiplied here, x into p minus 2x into f of y. Now we are going to carry this xy here. So xy s equal to 2 open bracket. This is y q minus 2 y square g of x then plus x p minus 2 x square f of y. Now once again rewriting this x y s equal to 2 bracket open. We shall write this one first, this one second. That is x p plus y q. And from these two we notice after taking minus 2 common we get the question itself. This term x square f of y, y square g of x. After taking minus 2 common, x square f of y, y plus y square g of x. So it is minus 2 z. Now finally, let's multiply this 2 inside. So we get x y s equal to 2 x p plus 2 y q minus 4 z. Let's bring this 4 z to this side. So 4 z equal to 2 x p plus 2 y q and let's take this to the other side minus x y s. So this is our required partial differential equation after eliminating the arbitrary functions.